and I'll show you how to do it. Like I said, you get any pot you want, or bottle. I usually use the one gallon water jugs from the store. We usually get them from, say, Martin, 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, anywhere. You can also use these. You can use the little bottles, too. Or you can use regular water bottles. It doesn't really matter, as long as it gets the job done. I'm going to use this for an example. You want to take your scissors. You want to find where you want to cut it. I usually cut it right about right here in the center. Pop a hole. Start cutting around. It doesn't have to be perfect when you're first cutting it because you can always make it look better later on. Right now, for step two, you can choose to either do the bottom first, or you can do the top. It doesn't really matter. The bottom would probably be a lot harder, because the bottom's reinforced. The bottom's reinforced, so it would take a lot longer to punch the holes. So I'll do that off camera. For the top, all you got to do is take the lid off. Don't do anything else just yet. You want to take your ice pick or whatever you're using that's real sharp and sturdy. Take the cap, punch five holes in it like you see on a dice. The one here. Sometimes they will put up a fight, but they usually don't put up much of a fight. There's one hole. And then right across from that, See, here's one hole. Right across from that, about right here, you want to do another hole. And then down from here, right here, here, and in the center, you want to do another hole. So I'm going to do one right here. Alright. One, two, three holes. Go across from there. Do another hole. And they don't have to be perfect as long as they help it drain pretty fast. Alright, there's four holes. Now you do one in the center, try and get as much in the center as you possibly can. And that should be pretty easy as well. There. Now you got your dice. One, two, three, four, five. The cap is done. All you gotta do is put it back on the top of the bottle. And here's where it gets tricky because this part is thin now because we cut it off the bottom. But you got to pop a hole here. And I use the pick. I rarely use the scissors. Hole here, 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 here. Two holes all the way around it. Okay? All the way around it. And after that, you want to put your string through it, pretty it up if you want, tie it together, and then just hang it up. There's one hole. You want to kind of do it down at the first 
rim, or what I call it, it's a rim, because it helps to reinforce it, because the weight from the soil and the plant and the water, if you do it up here, it'll just tear it open. So you want to do first rim, there's a hole. Same side, and I want to do one right here. Alright, there's two holes. That's good. Go to the next side. Do the same thing. Hole. And then another hole. You do that all the way around the pot. Two holes here, two here, two here, two here, and two here. This is done. Now this is where if you want to go back around to the top and level it out, you can. I usually just don't bother with it. But this, this is where you put the string in, like I showed you on the pumpkin. Pretty up if you want to put your soil in. Make sure that the cap will hold. That's very important. Make sure the cap will hold, put the soil in it, put your plant in it, and hang it up. What I love about these is that you can see the roots through the sides of it. And that's when you know it's root bound. That's when you know they're ready to transplant. Now for the bottom. You can just Pop a hole. I just do it all the way around and then try and do it about fairly center here. Now these are perfect because you can do like I did for the top, punch holes and hang it up, or you can also not punch holes in the bottom. I do it because I got a tendency to over water. And you just let it sit like that. Watch your plant grow, and also keep an eye out for a root bound. And that's all there really is to it. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you punch holes in it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I always make sure these are food grade safe. Because when I put the organic soil in it, I also put a little bit of the diatomaceous earth in it. And that's also food grade safe. I have a major problem with soil mats eating the roots of all my plants. And I found that that really helps with the diatomaceous earth. Okay, so now each one of these sections on the outside has a hole in it. And this takes about 15 minutes personally to get a hole in it because it's so reinforced. So I usually just go along the outside of that part. And it really likes to fight. So that's why I don't do that one. I'm not going to do that one for the sake of the video. 
that's all there really is to it. Punch holes in here if you wish. I'm not going to. Because I just want this one to sit and drain on its own. And you can also do the same exact thing to this. But this will be for another video another day. I hope this helps. This is a lot cheaper. There are only about two bucks depending on where you go. And this is really fun. So I hope this helped. And have a wonderful day. This is a great project for kids that are just starting to get into gardening. With adult supervision, this can go by pretty fast and you get a lot of them done. Have a great day. Thanks.